What's up, my lovely Earth signs and Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn? Please take the messages that resonate and leave what does it behind. This is an extended message, guys. You can check the shorts out on the channel. Let's get into this. So, a quick recap, guys. You have the new moon card out here with the meditate and the poverty. A big shift is coming around the next new moon, guys. You guys are being called to tap in, tap in, get into a meditative, meditative, <laughs> meditative state. <laughs> <laughs> get into a meditative state guys if you're not already and use this time to manifest what you truly want for yourself all right clear out the old so you can bring in the new but there's definitely some type of great um there's definitely some type of shift coming around the next new moon as the new moon card is out here in reverse or something will be reviewed re revealed damn guys something will be revealed to you around the next new moon possibly some type of news that was delayed or some type of news that you were expecting but i'm getting that this shift that's coming towards you guys is going to create a big shift within this energy some of you may have been in this energy or may have been in the mindset of poverty okay with this shift that's coming you guys are being called to raise your vibrations and truly manifest what you really want i'm also getting that this shift is going to create a big shift within your finances you guys are being called to tap in okay so the general channel messages we have for you guys we have unexpected visitor out there um earth sign letter of mouth someone may want to deliver some type of letter of mouth to you we have remain positive watch your dreams okay with the press so if you guys are in energy you're feeling low at this time because of your, your finances for it's only due to raise your vibrations meditate okay um listen to like uh what do you call it those um meditation binaural beats or you know the money um affirmation stuff like that when you're in a, a meditative state okay guys just raise your vibration things are about to turn around for you heavy we also have fake friends that you guys are needing to be aware of 444 you guys are protected at this time for anything or anyone to any evil negative vibes negative harm negative thoughts negative intentions towards you all right we have let this go all right we also have stress so you could be stressed some of your energy is stressed and depressed we have <laughs> and they're needing to let something go all right we also have breakups so you guys could be um healing from some type of breakup and maybe this is what spirit's calling for you to to let go of we also have time out there so something's coming to an end or someone's about to be put on some type of time out power someone who wanted some type of power over someone maybe with this poverty maybe someone who wanted to have some type of power over someone's finances we also have virgo out there so you could be this virgo or this other person is a virgo Wait, before I get some more general channel messages, let's get some more energy messages from here. Oh, what's this card out here? We got a couple. So we got karma out here, guys, with Aquarius, Reflex, some of a big ego, and delayed. So something's definitely something that was delayed. Maybe something that was meant to come towards you guys before is coming out now with this new moon. All right, or maybe something was delayed around the previous new moon. Oh, spirit, get some more energy. Thank you. What's this here? We have the great fortune. So some type of great fortune was delayed for you guys. Maybe this is what you were expecting. Okay? Maybe you were expecting this a while ago. This could be what was what could be coming towards you guys. Or maybe someone is using their power to delay something to coming towards you guys, alright? So they can keep you stuck in the energy of poverty. I don't think that's gonna happen. Well, I don't think I know. <laughs> You better claim, you better claim. What else, Britt? Thank you. Whoa. We have the high honor card that's fallen out there in reverse, guys. And this also goes in with the power card that came out here in reverse, too. So someone who wanted to have a lot of power over something or someone or a situation is losing their um, high honor. I'm getting. Oh, someone in a community. Maybe this person is seen in high honor in the, in the community. And with this big shift that's coming, especially with Mercury retrograde here on the horizon. Ooh, a lot of tower moments are coming, guys. All right. The karma, the karma card out there, you guys better be on the good side. You have a courtship card out there. So maybe someone wants to bring some type of romantic proposal towards you. Or maybe someone wants to take something to the next step with you guys with this courtship card out here. Um, what am I getting here? The fourth may be significant. Thank you, Spirit. Yeah, with the distant horizons out here. Something's coming towards you guys in the distant horizons. With the concern out here, so someone in the community is concerned about something. Journey. Someone's about to go on a journey. What's this journey? 
change. The change card is falling out here in reverse. So some type of change is coming to a community of people. Maybe a community of people who were seen in high honor. What else, Spirit? Thank you. Wow. You have the thief card out here in reverse. This is what this change is with the mature woman. And the mature woman fell out on top of the courtship. So this could be someone who's in a connection with someone. These people are about to go on a journey. This is what Spirit is saying here. They stole something. And the thief card's out there in, in the distant horizon. Oh, thank you, Spirit. Yeah, we have Toyla Labour and that's falling out on top of mature woman. So this mature woman may have been working really hard to do something. Delay some type of great fortune I'm getting here. Because they wanted to keep you stuck in poverty. But you see, the poverty is out here in reverse. It's getting that there's a big shift, there's a big turnaround. And the energy that was casted upon you guys is actually shifting back towards the people who wanted it. You also have bad health out here. So someone um, in your energy could be in bad health or could be receiving some type of message about them being in bad health and this could have put them in the um, energy of being in concern. Or you guys could be concerned about someone you know being in bad health or you guys could be in bad health. Took the messages how they resonate. Thank you, Spirit. We have sudden wealth out here. Someone could be concerned about some type of sudden wealth that was maybe meant for you guys. Some type of sudden wealth that was coming towards you that was being delayed. The sudden wealth card is out here in the upright, guys. So, like I said, there's a big shift coming, you guys. Better tap in. You have the main male card out here. So, main male and the true women could have been working together to delay some type of sudden wealth and great fortune. You have the child card out in reverse. A child could be involved in this. So you could be the child. What else, spirit? Thank you. Yeah, we have the gift that's falling out here in reverse on top of the child and the main male. And that is on top of mature woman. So, whoa, 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 spirit. What's that? So we have the thoughts out here. We have a main male and mature woman in their thoughts at this time. They may possibly receive some type of message about a gift. And seeing as though the gift card is out here in reverse, I'm possibly getting that this mature, ma mature woman and ma main male were expecting this gift to come for them. Whoa. Now they're in concern. Um, Spirit is guiding me to get some, any, um, some more messages from this deck for extra clarification. We've got a lot of messages to clarify here, but I'm going to try and do this quick because I don't want to hold you guys up, okay? Right, Spirit. What's this poverty card out here? Why is this poverty card out here? You mean, you mean meditate on poverty? coming out in the new moon for it. Thank you. Whoa, whoa, whoa. We have the chariot card out here of, um, in the upright, guys. So some type of forward movement is coming towards you. I'm definitely getting with this shift out here. There's a big shift that's coming that you guys are definitely needing to get into. I feel like I'm repeating myself. <laughs> I'm sorry, guys. I'm also realizing we have the number seven um, on this um, chariot card out here. Some type of karmic cycle is coming to an end, okay? Um, the chariot also signifies overcoming obstacles. So if there was some type of obstacle that you guys had to deal with in the past, if it had anything to do with your finances, okay? Maybe you guys felt like a failure with the six of wands out here. Maybe people made you feel like you were a failure. This card also signifies being hunted, losing, playing second fiddle, loss and defeat. So this is, this, I'm also picking up, this is past energy. This is, this is the energy that you guys were feeling in the past. But this is also present energy for people around you at this time. Someone who's definitely stolen something feels defeated. Because I'm definitely getting that this is coming out now. And a lot of people are in their thoughts at this time. A lot of people are in concern at this time. Maybe these people are needing to meditate. Couple more messages for it. Thank you. All right. So we have the eight of wands out here, guys. This card signifies returning from travel or holidays. I've looked at the abroad card come out there. Someone may be traveling, or you guys may be wanting to travel. Or maybe some type of news may have come out to this community of people when they came back from traveling somewhere. 
You also have the emperor that's come out in reverse. Someone's definitely abused their power to do something. All right. This card also signifies paternity issues. So someone could be experiencing some type of paternity issues. Oh, we have the king of swords out here, guys. So someone's very detached in the situations. This could be, I'm also picking up Virgo. Heavy Virgo energy right now. Someone's just in their thoughts right now being very analytical and strategic in a situation. All right. We also have the four of swords out here in reverse. So this card signifies finding mental strength and awakening to something. Maybe you guys have awakened to some new truth. It also signifies coming out of isolation and rejoining the world. So if you guys have been in hermit mode, Spirit's calling for you guys to bring yourself back out, okay? Or maybe some of you guys are wanting to go back into hermit mode just to regenerate yourself. What else, Spirit? What else do you need? What else do they need to know? Some more energy for my earth signs. Thank you. Whoa. Okay. Okay, let me put this. <laughs> wow, guys, we have the Empress card out here. So someone's definitely being buffed with some new ideas. Someone could be finding out that they're pregnant. All right. This card also signifies a lot of creativity coming towards you. Maybe you guys are just in the energy of bringing a lot of new ideas towards you, bringing more growth towards you as well, okay? Some of you could be moving too. We also have five of swords out here. Wow, someone's definitely been defeated in a situation. Someone's needing to surrender too. Self-sacrifice, self-sabotaging behavior, deception, lack of communication, what has been going on, all right? We have temperance out here. This is lovely. So some type of balance is coming towards the situation. And like I said, I did see the number seven out here. So this card is definitely hindering towards the karmic cycles that are being closed with us being in the year cycles number seven, guys. So this temperance card out here, balance is being restored in, in areas of your life that were imbalanced. And if there was areas in your life such as poverty, in which you guys felt were imbalanced, with this shift that's coming over with a new moon on the 20th, okay, you guys, a lot of energy and um, restoration is coming towards you, not just in your finances, not just in your materials, but also within your health, all right? This is why spirit possibly wants you guys to get into this meditative, meditative state and just... um relax relax your mind relax your energy relax your body you have so much good things that are coming towards you but i'm also picking up here with the king of swords energy you guys are needing to bring some type of structure and routine to yourself all right maybe be more logical in some type of situation you're also um discerning you guys are possibly needing to use a discernment in some type of situation or maybe around a, a certain type of person that you may be around okay i love this definitely a lot of balance being restored okay but y'all just be brace yourself okay we are entering mercury retrograde but and it is going to be in tourist season as well damn <laughs> just brace yourself guys i just hope you guys are on the good side of karma all right that's a couple more general channel messages from my lovely earth sign look at that what the spirit say meditate whoa you guys better roll one and just meditate 420 is coming up. Did I? Oh my days! 420 is on the full moon. 808 on the clock. Wow, Spirit is definitely calling for you guys just to get into that Zen mode. Alright? Also, stretch your bones, stretch your body. Some of you guys could be experiencing a lot of ascension symptoms, okay? Your bones could be achy and, and just shaky and quaky at this time. Just stretch. Alright, guys, stretch, get out into nature whoa i love that i love that spirit meditate meditate thank you spirit also says look on the brighter side why because you have so much good things coming towards you so many good shifts are here and we also have secrets out here secrets are also being exposed possibly around the next new moon coming up in april or in may but we have designer out here designer designer so i'm not spending on designer we have conflict so you have a community of people that are possibly in conflict at this time maybe they want to bring the conflict to you Tell nobody to bring no conflict to your door, all right? We have deleted out there. What's this deleted? Patience. So meditate and patience. You guys need them to bring some type of patience towards yourself, all right? What's, it, what's this here? Repeated cycles with the karmic cycles. A lot of cycles are definitely coming to an end, guys. A lot of maybe cycles that you may have been repeating. Or maybe there's a cycle that you're needing to see to close out. We have spell work out there. Someone in the back has been doing spell work. It could be a community of people doing spell work. Okay. And now they're going cuckoo crazy. 
while you're in the energy of just meditating, zenning, finding yourself. You have a new number for you guys. Maybe you wanted to change your number. Maybe you have changed your number. You also have to do the right thing. So this community card out here and so much imbalance that I'm picking up here in this energy. Someone seems to do the right thing in a situation. Possibly before it's too late. Mm, ending. Something's coming to an end. Well, Spirit, you have yes out there. If you guys had a question in your mind, Spirit says yes. Whoa. Toxic family. This has something to do with toxic family. Maybe you guys are closing out cycles of a toxic family. Or maybe someone you have a family with, all right? Take the messages how they resonate. Old news. And with Mercury retrograde coming up, a lot of things from the past could be resurfacing or may try to resurface, all right? Try not to run away from things and just face your battles um, head on, guys. But I'm also picking up that you need to be very logical and, um, and I would, I would say strategic, but just be logical with, your, with, with what you do and how you do it. All right, we have you the truth. Someone wants to say you the truth. Regret, you have somebody in your energies and regret, or you could be regretting something. Someone's watching all your moves at this time. We have open your mind, guys. Snake around you or in your circle. You deserve better mental health. So, someone's giving you some type of mental health check. Someone with a toxic mindset. It could be someone in a toxic family dynamic. We have doubts. So, you guys could be doubting yourself at this time. Maybe you're doubting the shift. Okay. You have to understand all the energy lies within your mind. And I know it's easier said than done. But if you don't believe something within your hearts of hearts, then the shift that you want isn't going to manifest for you. You have to truly know that you are deserving of better. I'm so sorry about the background noise, guys. <laughs> oh, my days. You have to know that you do deserve better and you need to feel that you do deserve better. Okay, guys? You have silent moves, some of your energy could be making silent moves. Possibly someone who's watching all your moves. Or you could be making silent moves at this time. Alright? You have ghosted. So someone who may have ghosted you. Or you may be ghosting someone. Alright, we have past coming back. And that's confirmation of this Mercury retrograde energy. You may just find lots of people from your past trying to reunite with you, reconnect with you. Uh, maybe old messages from people. So with this new number out here, Spirit probably wants you to change your number. Don't even let anyone come back especially people from the past come back into your energy so i'm getting people just want to um get you back into this energy of repeated cycles repeated toxic cycles all right and we're just back with the temperance out here spirit is coming through to bring balance in all unbalanced situations and what you don't want to do is um create riffraff and create more toxicness and more tension all right i think people people are needing to surrender in a situation but i'm also getting you guys may be needing to surrender to in a situation all right we have this is almost over and something's coming out something's definitely coming out around the next new moon guys something's definitely being revealed some type of evidence could be coming out some type of secrets could be coming out something that could be making breaking news could be coming out all right i'm definitely picking up a lot of positive energy but you know like i said guys the energy lies within you don't let other people um actions determine your own energy or allow it to affect your energy but 100 percent always stick up for yourself if you need to and if you have to okay let's get a couple messages or one message from the avalon kingdom just to close out this message from my lovely earth signs sorry it's brother capricorn also i want to thank all my lovely new subscribers i genuinely appreciate you guys thank you for all the support we have a little dumbledore there we have guys your life lessons will be repeated until they are learnt. Guidance is the only way. Spirit really be talking with the repeated cycles out there. All right. Some people may be needing to change their toxic mindsets in, in something or maybe the way that you look at things. If you maybe look at things like you're not worthy enough, you're not deserving enough, you're not, you know, you're not capable enough. You always say stuck in this type of energy, whether it be um, with your finances or whether it be in anything you try to create. All right, guys, you need to raise your vibrations. And also, if there are situations that aren't bringing you any form of peace or they're bringing you a lot of imbalance, you guys are needing to surrender these situations, all right? We are in the season of uh, eclipse seasons now, so a lot of things are coming to an um, end. Relationships, businesses, just 
so many things are coming to an end so, so many new things can begin all right so guidance is the only way all right guys so that's the message from my lovely earth signs i hope you guys have a blessed day i'll be back with another message peace love and light to you all